Apocalypse Now. Francis came to see me at Winterland, and he said I wanted my movie to sound like that, my, the drums in space, drums in Grateful Dead concert. And he said, I want you to go up the river, just, you know, after Kurtz. I took all of my percussion instruments and called Ayerto and Michael Hinton and, and different percussionists that I thought would be able to make the trip up the river. But Francis, unlike most directors, didn't want me to do it scene by scene. He would want me to go from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie and actually go up the river in search of Kurtz, musically speaking, and never really stop. This was a real adventure. Getting ready for it, I had in the living room, in the kitchen, even in the bathroom, I had little uh, TVs just repeating the movie over and over again so I can get into the mood of it. Needless to say, it's an amazing movie, but the images are so, so horrific. I mean, Francis was a wreck at the end too, you know. At the end of all of this, you know, he had a bad back and the only way to really talk with Francis was lying on the floor with him. Uh, but this movie kill, almost killed us all. How do you relate something like this to the, to the world music that you recorded on elsewhere? I mean, you obviously it's all percussive. made use it's percussive of- percussion bass. Of you using made use world, of- the, world's, uh, the world's instruments. This was not strings, you know. He had a string, uh, he had a string score. He's, he already threw out two scores, one from his son-in-law. You know, it did, you know he, there was no trumpets and strings in the, in the, in the jungle, and you finally realized that. Um, so I was using all indigenous instruments. It took me two weeks to just set the mics where everybody can actually play any instrument in this giant room without having to set anything up. I mean, no matter what you felt, you could go to any part of the room. So I took my whole collection and put it out and made sure it was all mic'd so we could just walk through this forest of percussion and improvise our way up the river. So every time we went up the river, it was different. You know, the beast and all the things I played in the Grateful Dead all these years came from Apocalypse because when Francis showed me the movie, I, I saw it and I said, I, I don't have any of these instruments to really paint this picture. I said, there are no instruments like this on the planet. And, oh, gotta build them. It expanded my horizons tremendously. Once I saw the airstrike, I said, well, how do we do an airstrike? I said, Francis, you gotta tell me everything about every scene, okay? I'm sitting there and I'm eating the popcorn. Francis is telling me every scene and I'm sitting there going, hmm. There's only one, there's only one thing that would work here, and that would have to be large steel, suspended steel drums. I mean, huge drums, drums bigger than, you know, big as bass drums that were strung, you know, uh, suspended over your head and, and not be touching anything. It would be enormous and all this stuff. So as he was talking, I was imagining these instruments. So I went back and I drew out all of these instruments to go up the river. Yeah. With Francis, you know, he just said, make it happen, whatever it takes, make it happen. He used to say, make it happen. I said, okay. He spent a quarter million dollars trying to recreate napalm. I had my monochord, you know, and I got a big pipe. And it was a monochord was about 12 feet. It had 12, nine strings. Uh, low D and the and three strings half that distance at the octave and I just put I put the the, um, the bar down and I just leaned on it and I grinded the strings a little bit as the planes were coming down over that island and then just let it go as the napalm went off I went <laughs> and it was like that and we looked up at the screen and Francis almost cried he said, I spent 
almost a quarter of a million dollars trying to get that sound, and you did it in he did it in 24 seconds. <laughs> I go, well, this was just made for that, I guess, you know. So it was napalm for breakfast there.